What's going on guys? It's Pro Ball RF. Welcome back to another vlog. All right guys, another day, another training session. Let's just get straight into it. It is so hot today. I think you can actually see the heat waves. I can actually see them. Uh, let me show you guys. Check that out. Can you see it guys? That's not out of focus. That's actually heat waves. Yeah. So the heat's not ending. Anyways, let's get to the session. Yes guys. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, in every single one of my vlogs, I've complained about the heat, how hot it is. And I don't know what else to do now. If you live here, this heat. Everybody's talking about it these days. This is not normal. Kind of bummed out today, guys. I don't know why. It's, I think, because I've not been able to wake up in the morning again. And I'm really disappointed with myself. I even went to bed early, like 10 p.m. So I could wake up at 4.30 but when I woke up, it was already 6.30, so I went back to sleep because I couldn't. I don't know why. I I think my alarm didn't went off at 4.30, or it did, and I just turned it off subconsciously and didn't even know. <sighs> I'm getting too lazy day, these days, guys. When I'm sleepy, I don't care what's going on, and I just do stuff. When I'm conscious, I I think I am able to push my body past this limit. But when I'm sleepy, things just start to go on autopilot. And I don't even know what I did. I'm really disappointed in myself and kind of disappointed in a bad way. You guys might think I'm so disciplined. I train every single day, but, but as it turns out, I'm actually super, super lazy. Let me take this example. My bag is filled with socks from like a while ago. It's filled with so many socks. I don't even clean my bag. That's how lazy I am. I know I shave my head. For a dare, but I'm, I'm kind of glad about it. I hate to get haircuts, and now I don't have to get a haircut for about months. For months now, I can keep my hair like this, and I don't have to get a haircut. <laughs> ah, just so disappointed, guys. At this time, I cannot, you know, train to my full potential because of the heat. The frustration is starting to build up. I've been trying to wake up early for quite three or four days now. I past few days I let myself not wake up early, try to get some good sleep. But now I've been trying to intentionally I I make up my mind every time I go to sleep and tell myself I'm going to wake up early and go train football uh, early in the morning but it's been quite a failure three or four days now and I'm really really disappointed but all I can do is just move on and try to get on with the day I said this in the previous vlog if you don't start your day off well you start your day off with a failure, your whole day kind of turns out in that same energy. So, it's I can still turn this day around, but starting the day off with a failure is absolutely stuck. It's absolutely, it absolutely sucks, guys. I feel like I let you guys down. 
I feel like I let myself down. I need to feel this failure more so I don't do it again. Right now I don't think I feel it that much. I should feel more embarrassed, more more concerned about it. <sighs> Sorry guys. Not in the same energy that I am in my vlogs today. So we're just going to train, try to make up for our failures today and try to train well the space we have and just be grateful for the little things little things like i'm not sick alhamdulillah i can train i can walk i have the energy to train i have the ability to train i get to train today even though it's hot even though i started my day off with a failure there's still good things I can be grateful for I think as human beings we tend to f focus more on what's not in our lives we tend to be more ungrateful another natural human instinct to be ungrateful we tend to focus on things that we don't have but if we look at it with this perspective that we are currently living someone else's dream life. Someone else in the world, anywhere in the world, he will look at you and he will trade lives with you with, without even thinking. That's how much he wants to be in your position. So try to be more grateful. The problems we have are just in our mind. They are not that big, as big as we think, as big as we think in our minds. So, let's not be an ungrateful little kid and just train. I don't know why I said derail off to ungratefulness i was just disappointed in myself for not waking up early <sighs> let's go sorry guys to bum you out i don't want to do that before just before the session started i just wanted to win a little vent a little all right guys let's get the show on the road i think i said this before but let's let's just do it i met a guy yesterday he was like a he had his own academy where he trained little kids and what an incredible guy he was. He gave me a piece of advice while I was training in the evening yesterday. He gave me a piece of advice. I was training dribbling and he said to look up more. And he said the ball should be visible to you like our nose is visible to us when we see we see a little bit of our nose not whole of it we we are aware that it's there but we don't completely see it we just see it in kind of a peripheral view so he said to me the ball should be visible to you as your nose is visible to you you should be looking up at all times analyzing the pitch and he also gave me a piece of advice that this game football is all all about sense it's it's a mental game we i've been kind of derailing towards the other direction i've been kind of neglecting this part of football the sense part of football i've been working on my fitness i've been working on my skills my abilities but i've completely neglected this part the sense part of the game to be aware of your position the position that I play in is left wing and also I also play a midfielder from time to time and we're when we're playing defensive I, uh, so he said you should be aware about your duties when you're in a game for for example I play on the wing 
and my my duty is to expand the game is to open the game be on the edges play good crosses take on the left back right back anyone take on keep them on their toes play a good ball in also be aggressive and the left wing and the CAM or center attacking mid these are the two positions that get most beat by the defenders by the opponent defenders so I have to be prepared for that also get beaten in a game defenders are quite aggressive towards these two positions so I learned a co I learned quite a lot from that guy so today I'm gonna try to work on the ball and try to focus more analyzing the pitch analyzing upwards keeping the ball with me feeling the ball in my peripheral view and just looking up trying to analyze trying to look around the pitch and try to keep the ball with me so today we're going to practice that uh, this is this is going to be the first time I'm going to be practicing this I may not be the best at this but I'm gonna start to work more on this because I think this is the thing that will make a difference in a game let's go all right guys let's start this session I'm gonna do the first drill I do every single day which is the I don't know what I named this drill but it's this one where I just make a square first with the cones then just place the cones in a random order between that square and try to dribble past these cones but this time I'm gonna try to look up more and try to look in every single direction and focus more up than on the ball try to keep my vision here like this area so I can see in my peripheral view all the players that might come at me or if my player is asking for a ball I should pass the ball there so I've been doing this drill for a while now so I expect not a lot of not a lot of difficulty doing this I I think I'm in a game I actually I actually look up when I'm playing but when I'm dribbling with full speed I tend to look a little too much down so because I'm doing it with speed I want I don't want to lose the ball so I'm always looking at the ball uh, he said he gave an advice to me. this guy gave an advice to me he said try if you can't do it fast at first no problem do it slow do it slow as time progresses you will be able to do it fast so even if I do it slow today I'm I'm gonna try to look more up and look in different direction also looking at the cones analyzing every single thing and try to analyze more I'm gonna work on my analyzing part as a winger he said my main job is to take on the defenders and try to keep them on their toes when we're attacking whenever I get the ball I should drive in drive in the ball a good winger can drive at the defender and maybe he can dodge him or dodge him and cross the ball or take him on do some moves pass it back always keep the defender on the toes never be afraid to take on a defender it, it also depends upon the nature of the game if your team is attacking then when the winger gets the ball his job is to drive off drive forward but when he is defending there's no need to drive there's all sorts of tactics in this game so I need to work on my ability to drive I'm, I, I'm good at driving at players I gotta say but this one thing I really notice I'm bad at is analyzing the pitch so 
enough talk let's get to I'm, I'm not even warmed up I'm just starting I got pumped up just by talking about it oh I didn't sorry I didn't realize so here we go I set the cones a little farther apart today because I've been looking I'm gonna be looking quite up and I don't want to hit the cones obviously and uh, I think I'm gonna do this one slow here we go. Oh. Oh, got another gas there. Woo! So, I think that was better a little bit. It was kind, kind of slow, but I extended my vision. First, when I was doing this real fast, I was just looking at the cone that I was dodging. Like, if I'm coming at this cone, I'm just looking at this cone and dodging it like this but now I extended my vision like this looking a little bit 45 degrees into the first I was looking at only the ball now I extended the vision look more up not straight up because I can't see the ball that way if I look at a 45 degree angle I look at there, I can see the ball underneath in my peripheral view and I can also see the defender that will be coming at me. I can also see his legs, I can maybe see his face in the peripheral view and I can also see in my peripheral view all this space. So I'm going to try to look more at a 45 degree angle and try to dribble as fast as I can. Here we go. Let me catch my breath a little bit. Try not to do this fast, but try to do it in a, as fast without losing the ball. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Missing the ball because I was looking up. <laughs> Oh, Oof. it's too hot. I'm getting too gassed. You guys might think I'm so unfit that I get so tired so early. It's not that I'm, I'm not unfit, it's the weather. The air this time is so hot and so humid, it's hard to breathe, but when I come in the evening, I promise you guys, I can do this drill for a longer period of time, and I've got more stamina that time also, a bit of cooler times, it's only because of the heat, guys. But if I can do this in this heat, in this condition, I'm going to be a beast in good weathers if i can just get through this weather and be good in this in intense conditions i'm going to be a beast beast in good weathers so for the first time i feel kind of good but for doing this drill i feel like i've been i'm going to progress training this way Oh. <sighs>
Also, another piece of advice that guy gave me is to play more games. So, I want to play more games. I went yesterday for a game, but not many people came. There were only kids. I want to play with kids. So, I just came, came to the pitch, trained alone. And that turned out quite good for me because I met that guy while I was training alone. So, I'm going to go today for a game and try to implement the things I train here. <sighs> try to look more up and try to have more vision. Try to play long balls. Try to take on defenders. <sighs> because in practice, I can do those kind of things. In a game, I have to stick to the plan and play what the team intends me to play like. <sighs> Oh, slipped. It slipped. Oh my god, I'm miss. Ah! Oh my god, guys. Ah! Can't catch my breath. Oh. Can't catch my breath. Look at me. Not even sweating that much. The heat, when you sweat, it's uh, you can bear that, I think. I don't know what strange kind of heat this is. I'm not even insa insanely sweating, and but I can't still breathe. It's so hot. Strange, strange times. Catch my breath. Let me catch my breath. Let me catch my breath. Try to be more comfortable with the ball. Try to be more. I want to have a session involving passing, guys. I mainly train passing on that futsal right there. Because he, it has, because it has all these walls where I can pass the ball to. But look at it now. It looks like an... It literally looks like an oven. It looks like there is steam coming out of that futsal. It, look, it looks incredibly scary, so I can't go there. Should have woken up earlier. I'm going to pack my grippers. Uh... For the evening sessions today, so I can train after I played there. I'm gonna come and give half an hour passing session here, also. Uh, before, after the game at night time, so try to give a little more extra there. <sighs> Let's go. Let's try to guess, get this one good. Here we go. <laughs> Lost it. Lost it. Ooh. Did some good moves there. Lost a lot. A lot of energy. Woo! It's so hard to breathe. The feeling is kind of like 
there's a filter in my lungs that that does not allow oxygen to pass through it feels kind of like that let's drink a sip of water Whoa. let's drink a sip of water Did it. Did it. I recently started watching Peaky Blinders. Again, it's like the sixth or seventh time of watching this show all over again. And I've watched it all six seasons like five or six times already and I'm still watching it. Which goes on to show how great the show is. And I still watch it. I still, a lot, I still learn a lot of things. Especially about body language. If you haven't already watched that show, it's insane. It's insane, actually. And I get so motivated when I watch this kind of shows. When I watch people where, if you know what I'm talking about, people starting from scratch and building things up. Building, like in Peaky Blinders, he builds his business from a small razor gang to a huge business owner, also a politician. It really motivates me and pushes me. I only watch things that motivate me or give me a good feel. Uh, I watched the TV show Friends because it gives me a good vibe and also I it keeps my brain on the creative side and it keeps me in a good mood. So I watch Friends for that and TV shows like Peaky Blinders, I watch it because it motivates me. I also watched a lot of anime which motivated me, like Naruto, I watched, I, it's not a popular anime, but Haikyuu, that anime didn't motivate me, I only watched it once, but it did motivate me, because if you watched it, you know, so, that's it, I don't know what I, I do really love, I just wanted to catch my breath, so here we go, let's go. Oh. Ah. Not stopping. <laughs> Come on! Uh. Four reps of this done. Let's move on to the next run. All right, guys. So I'm moving out to the zigzag drill. I put on sunblock and I accidentally put on a little bit too much because I'm going to be moving on into that hell out there. Put the sunblock on 
I'm not gonna spend a lot of time out, but I do, do have to step out of this little dome. Here we go. The zigzag drill, one of my favorite drills, one of the drills that helped me the most. And little twist this time, I'm gonna try to look more up. And I'm gonna try to do that with all of my drills today. Here we go. Ah. Missed it. Missed it. No work. was looking up so I missed that one no problem if you miss you start where you missed from Woo! Look at that, so much sun, sunblock. It's not dying off. Put a little bit too much. Now we're gonna move on to the left foot. Try not to miss so much. When I'm looking back at the footage when I'm editing this video, I feel like, wow. I'm training so much, woo, woo, woo. But when I'm actually doing it, every single part of my body hurts still. I do not feel good. My legs are stiff. But when I'm looking at the video, I'm thinking, I look fine. Why are my legs stiff? When I'm looking back at the video, I think eh, that's okay. But when I'm actually doing it, this sucks. It sucks so much. But when I... Look at the look back on the video. I think it was worth it. I did that. I did it. I went through that, and it feels good after. But when you're going through it, it does not look good. That makes me think the bad times when you're going through it. It looks like it's it's so bad. This is never going to pass. Why is this happening to me? And it sucks so much. But when you go through it and look back on it, you realize that it was necessary. It was necessary for your own growth. And you're okay with it when it passes. But when it's going, when you're going through it, it feels like it's the worst thing in the world. Here we go, left foot. Come on, foot, wake up. God, that was so bad. As I'm training, when that guy said, to play more games because the result of the training is only visible in game. When you don't play a game for a while and just train, the frustration starts to build up. You don't, you can't see results in training because you're training for the game. But when you see the results in game of the training you did, it, that motivates you into putting more in in your training so I want to go for a game today but it's so hot these days nobody is coming nobody is has the guts to come out in this heat 
everybody's kind of just staying at home so it's kind of getting frustrating i'm all alone training i cannot play a game cannot see the results of the training i'm doing because i cannot play in the games everybody comes so late uh, it's it's getting frustrating this is one of the worst times of the year i will look at this time when this year ends and say wow that was a really bad time it's one of the worst times of the year oh my god my water is boiling hot it's so hot come on let's go right for time there we go focus <laughs> Oh, I was so bad. A few poor touches. It's because I'm trying to look up. And also, my legs are dead. The ground is swampy. Ah! I can scream as much as I want. Nobody's around. Nobody's around for a mile. Oh, there goes a guy on a motorcycle. Ah! Come on! Give it your all! Don't get discouraged. You're the only one. Who can turn this around? Just keep coming up with the lyrics as they pop in my head. Could make up a huge song with this. You're all alone! Nobody's there! And you're grinding the hell out! Grind, 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 grind! What a song, man. I'm just so talented. <laughs> I don't know how it sounds on video, but... <laughs> let me, let me just see it. Not gonna lie. That sounds kinda neat. Kinda legit. <laughs> I think I'm losing my mind right now. And I also heard the uh, the mic is doing some clicks. It's clicking. I don't know what's going on with it. Don't click, mic. Stay with me. The mic wants to go home also. There we go. Left for time. We have two sets of this left. With the uh, right left foot. Let's do with the left foot right now. Stop crying and get to the grind. Stop crying. Get to the grind. Bro. I, I'm rhyming here. I'm rhyming. I'm, 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 I'm making songs. Stop crying. Get to the grind. Bro. This is, this is kind of getting me pumped up. This is this is the chorus of my song. I'm gonna name it the grind. Stop crying! Get to the grind! Grind, 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 grind! Bro! Let's go! Ah, that one was better. See, all you have to do is pump yourself up. 
and stop crying. Get to the grind. Woo! Oh, kind of guess. Stop crying and get to the grind. It amazes me how can water get so warm sitting in the shade? Damn! It's not even out in the sun and it's boiling hot. I mean boiling hot. There's, there's something hot and it's boiling hot. I can't even get it down my throat. I gotta get a thermos now. So the, at least the water stays cool. Stop crying! Get to the grind! Bro, this, this song is gonna be stuck in my head all day. Stop crying, get to the grind. I gotta make my own songs, I'm so good at it. Good at it. I'm training all alone, all alone. All alone in this heat. Stop crying. Get to the grind. Grind, 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 grind. God. Oh my God. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm, the song is starting to come come together. I don't know what I said before, but. Still, it still rhymed a lot. Let me see. All right, guys. With that, I'm gonna end this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed my song. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, stop crying. Get to the grind. Grind, 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 grind. See you all next time.